Danielle, I'm a vocalist uh, uh, with band Crazy P. I'm a size 7, that's a 40. Yeah, that's nice. I'm Jim, I'm the engine room, size 10. I'm Chris, and uh, I'm, I guess I'm in the engine room as well, and I am a size 9. I will tell you an interesting fact about myself. I used to play netball for England. I was in the National Youth Orchestra of Wales. Is that interesting enough? <laughs> and I was uh, Keithley Star. Uh, trolley collector for Sainsbury's, uh, circa 1990. Five, state, five years on the trolley. I think that takes the biscuit. Playing in a city like Manchester is very important because it's very important. And um, also I think it's holding on to uh, its, its industrial edge. And I think what that's brought to Manchester is a real kind of unique municipality. And uh, so being part of that or being asked to play at that is just a... Uh, Brilliant. What have you got to say about that? That sums it up. Pretty much, nutshell. But yeah. Well, I think, well, we've all got sort of different stories. I guess me and Jim uh, met at college. Was the, the first kind of meeting between us, the lot of us, which was like night How long have you got? <laughs> yeah. You got to you take, feel free to put it in. So I mean, we've been going a fair old whack, haven't we? I think we hit it off. We hit it off. All three of us hit it off. We're all good friends and I think that's kind of what's kept the thing going for so long is the fact that we all trust each other and we're all growing together. We've not always liked each other, but we've trusted each other. What do you mean? Uh, well, I'm just talking from personal like uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, My top track would have to be a Prince tune um, and I'm going to go with, um, it's off the Sign of the Times album and it's going to be Hot Thing. Number one. Number one. But yeah, beat that. Well, I, I mean, I, I'm going to just pick a track. It's not necessarily my favourite track of all time, but this is a, a track I play a lot on a DJ, which is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Black Joy's Moustache or Latash. My one is Unfinished Sympathy by Massive Attack. So, my first pair of trainers that I cherished because I played lots of sport, and that's Rick Classics. And um, my mum and dad didn't really have. A lot of money, so they couldn't treat me to stuff like that. I think before that I was on like Asda's own um, or Crimson. But when I got those Reebok classics, I was like, yeah, and I wore them well. <laughs> they weren't just a fashion item, they were proper. My first trainers were in the Cox Sportif. <gasps> and I used to commit the sin of wearing them with a Sergio to shoot the tracksuit. <gasps> I thought it was really cool at the time. Obviously, you can't lose your. How can you not? It's frowned upon. Well, that was those were mine. Yeah. Well, I think mine were a pair of Adidas Kick. Were they? Were they called Kick? You know. Like really cheap Adidas. That's like Kenny the cheapest Adidas. Yeah, the cheapest Adidas trainers you could buy for oh, under, nice. under under about thirty quid. My most recent purchase of trainers were yellow. Sorkney or Sorkney um, and uh, the colour drew me to them but also I just like the kind of the, the kind of almost a retro feel to them and the look of the jeans. Mine are Airbags ones, these ones, which I got off the website and slipped my name on the back. That colourway you can't really get don't you? Yeah, sorry, you got it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I did it on the website. <laughs> <laughs> And mine, I'm wearing a pair of uh, New Balance, I think they're 420s. Classics. Um, classics, yeah. <laughs> Trailblazing. But yeah, I, I seem Industry to, standard. Industry standard, I, I do like a New Balance. So. If I had one pair of trainers to ask me the, that I could only wear for the rest of my life, they would be uh, Nike white, kind of mid, like uh, high top, uh, mid top, um, and they'd be white with a maroon swoosh. Um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to have to stick with what I've got. I'm sorry it's been really boring, but I've actually yeah, bought, well, I bought, I bought the same pair of kind of trainers for the last three years, so I think I've, I've kind of found a, a companion for life oh, in, in a way. I'll probably change my mind in a couple of years. But no, I don't think you will. No, probably not. I think I go for Air Max ones or uh, the if for a high top the Nizzle. I think it's Nizzle. It's a nice one. You can crazy. <laughs>